Oh, it's been a while, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I haven't streamed you in many, many months. Well, welcome back, everybody. We're going to open our CT2 and continuing the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios. So, we've cleared the first tree. We're now on scenario number four Diamond Heights. So, Diamond Heights is already a successful theme park with great rides. Develop it to double its value. So, this is very different from our last scenarios. Up to now, we've had to get a certain number of guests in our park within a time limit. Now, we need to achieve a park value of 200,000 within three years. So, park value just means the overall amount of net worth our park is uh, <laughs> valued at. We are naming our park the McDonald's Playland. So, we got Snake River Falls, a log flume. We've got Arachnophobia, broken down. That's a junior coaster. Oh, first of all, how much staff do we have? Okay, we got some staff. That's good. Not a lot. But there we go. Uh, we got the railroad, the Indiana Jane Railroad. Interesting. It's like the female version of Indiana Jones, I guess. We've got a merry-go-round. <laughs> Grimble's Gallopers. Oh, we've got these two cool dueling coasters here. So, Agoraphobia and then Claustrophobia. We've got this Wooden Wild Mouse Mobius coaster here called Doppelganger. So, one track goes into the other exit and then comes back in the first exit. So, yeah. Already quite a lot of stuff here. And to start, um, you're not getting into the McDonald's Playland for free. Are you kidding me? It's 15 bucks. We got some good rides here. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, now we gotta start naming the rides. So, Snake River Falls, uh, I don't think so. Oh, I know. This can be Wall and John Silver's. <laughs> In other words, you know, the fast food place that literally nobody ever goes to. Okay, the Indiana Jane Railroad, I don't think so. You know what? That's fine. We'll go with the subway. Guests are hungry and can't find places... Oh, yeah! That's... That might be a problem. I don't think there are any, like, restrooms or shops or stalls in here. Oh, 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 you guys are gonna love this. You guys ready? We're gonna call the restaurant Taco Bell. It's funny, because it's a bathroom, and Taco Bell tastes like crap. It's also funny, because you go to Taco Bell, and you get diarrhea afterwards. Oh, no! Yeah, you're right. You're right. Not Subway, Panda Express. You are 100% correct. That is what it should be. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, Fruity Ices. I don't know if this actually counts as drinks or not. But we should make the Blizzard of the Month. Arachnophobia. It's this nice little junior coaster. The Mick Coaster. Okay, the Dueling Coasters. That has potential. The Dueling Coasters have big potential. Are there, like, two fast food rivals that we could... <laughs> oh, but before that. Doppelganger. So this is the Mobius coaster, and I think it's so fitting if we call this Legend of the McRib. Because every time the McRib comes, it goes away, but then it always comes back. See? It's probably a very, very dumb joke, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, brother. There we go. The Legend of the McRib. Everybody loves it. Actually, maybe they don't. I don't see a cue. The, the Legend of the McRib looks too intense for me. <laughs> of course it does. Five dollars. These are some good coasters, though. Alright. The Merry-Go-Round. Eighty cents. They like it. Cool. Alright. Oh! This can be the Burger King crown. Yay! We get... A drink stall. Oh, oh, duh. <laughs> Mountain Dew Baja Blast. <laughs> oh, wait, it's raining, folks. And that can only mean one thing. It's time to bump up the umbrella price to $20. When it's raining, people will pay any price for an umbrella. And that puts more money in our pocket. Oh, 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 guys, I have a great idea for the dueling coasters. So first, we'll have a Burger King coaster called Have It Your Way. <laughs> and then, the other coaster will be for Wendy's, and we'll call it Do It Dave's Way. <laughs> Do you want it your way or Dave's way? <laughs> Which is better? It's ridiculous. Obviously, Dave's, Dave's way is so much better. That's good enough. 
I'm calling it good for the dueling coasters. Does the colors aren't exactly right, but I think everything's just going to be red and yellow otherwise. And this can be White Castle. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on. I have, I have an idea. <laughs> I got a good idea. <laughs> We're gonna put a pizza place way up here, <laughs> and this is gonna be Pizza Hut. Because Pizza Huts are always in really hard-to-reach places. Like, always. <laughs> At least where I am, I swear every Pizza Hut that's still in business, it's always like, you, oh, you've got to, like, turn here and then, like, make a left turn onto a busy street and then, like, turn behind this gas station. Like, it's always, like, a pain in the butt to reach. <laughs> oh, Haunted House. Okay. Yes, I've got a great idea. The Haunted House. It's the scariest thing of all. It's... Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. <laughs> Nothing scarier than going to Chick-fil-A and realizing, No! It's Sunday! No! <laughs> oh, I also forgot. I actually I added custom music for this as well. Because you can add two custom tracks to Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> it's a remix of the McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure boss theme. Which I think is fitting for the roller coaster. Uh, no, the issue of going to Chick fil A on Sunday is that it's closed on Sunday. So you don't actually get anything. Oh, that, that looks terrible. <laughs> that literally looks so bad. <laughs> well, no, we're keeping it. Wow, this is the worst McDonald's M I've ever seen. We're keeping it, though, as a monument to my failure. <laughs> wow. The other track I had is a remix of the. Uh, Pizzeria Simulator music for FNAF 6. Dang, people love Long John Silvers, I guess. I've been queuing in line for Long John Silvers for ages. How many boats are on? Nine? That's it? How long is the ride? Take five! By the way, folks, that's five real life minutes. What? Um... Well, that's a problem? What kind of... T this is the problem. A lot of the, uh... A lot of the pre-made designs are flawed in some serious way. I'm not paying that much to go to Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. <laughs> you know, you have a point. <laughs> oh yeah, we also never renamed the slide, did we? This can be the ball pit. Uh, that's right, I forgot Diamond Heights is a little difficult to build stuff on, because there's not a lot of flat surfaces. It also can be hard to expand at times. Okay, I don't want the scrambled eggs to have, like, a huge queue. Oh, but if we do this... Oh, yeah, I like this. Dude, why does McDonald's Treasure Land have, like, a boppin' soundtrack? Oh, it's technically called the twist in this. Okay, well, we're calling it the Egg McMuffin. <laughs> it's near the McDonald's coaster, so I think we can get away with it. <laughs> oh, that looks disgusting. Wait. Oh my gosh. I am stupid. <laughs> I'm like, why is why is nobody getting on the egg McMuffin? <laughs> it's because Artie, there's no there's no path to get there. <laughs> oh, good. My handyman is getting in queue. I'm so happy for that. Dude, the ball pit is making bank! Normally, people don't like the ball pit, but I, I guess they do. I guess we could make a boat higher. Ooh, you are correct. We definitely need... <laughs> you know, that's an idea. We can make a water ride and call it Whataburger, but it's actually Waterburger. Like, that's something we could do. Okay, we'll make a boat higher. However, we're gonna do... Not a you-can-go-anywhere-you-want kind of boat hire. We're going to actually give it a track. All right, we can have rowing boats or bumper... I like the bumper boats. They look way cooler, and they definitely think fit the fast food theme a little bit better. Uh, we can charge, like, a dollar forty for it, I think. Okay, no, we're building the exit first. Because I don't want people drowning if they get off the ride. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> I actually like the idea of Whataburger. It's a pun. Oh my gosh, and they can be floating around in little, uh, in little hamburgers. Um, ooh, oh, how have I forgotten? We need to name guests! Alright, 
Alright, Ronald, you're looking so happy. $60, yeah. We got Grimace. We got Mayor McCheese. The Hamburglar. I wish the Hamburglar could get free burgers. That'd be great. Uh, Ducky. Okay, I think that's all- I think that's it for the McDonald's lore. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we can have Wendy. We gotta have the Burger Cane. That's not how you spell cane. The Hamburger pot bought a park map. Well, that was nice that he paid for it. Oh, we can have Big Boy. Not really fast food, but it's- it's close enough. Big boy bought a park map. That's good. You do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Duh. Okay. That should that should be good for now. Colonel Sanders bought a park map. That's very nice. Uh-oh. Are people not wanting to go on Whataburger? Okay. Okay. We'll lower it to a dollar. It is a fast ride. Man, but she's left the park. What? You can't do this to me. You still have $74! Mayor McCheese, you can't leave! Wendy joined the queue line for Long John Silvers. Wendy, you traitor! You can't do this! <laughs> hey, Marty. Oh, we have not made a ride about Arby's yet. Okay, we obviously gotta change that. Arby's deserves to be a coaster. <laughs> Even though it's not that... Oh, oh, guys, I know. We're gonna make a... Once we get the wooden coaster... We can make the meat mountain from Arby's. Big John Steak and Onion Marty is A, not a fast food place, and B, it's only local to Michigan. <laughs> Burger King left the park! What are we gonna do without our government leaders? Big Boy left the park! This is unacceptable! <laughs> Why is everybody leaving the park? There's so much to do here! Maybe we should have made this Vaughn John Silver's, not the log flume, but... Well, it's too late now! This could be Jack in the Box. It kind of moves like a Jack in the Box. I don't know, it's a bit of a stretch. Actually, that's kind of the default Jack in the Box colors! <laughs> Red and white. Alright, oh boy, we get, the <laughs> we get the maze. Okay, hang on, the hedge maze has some potential. <laughs> okay, we have a hedge maze. We can make something really confusing. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Hedge Maze, we could make it one of those, like, combo fast food places where it's like a Kentucky Fried ch <gasps> Oh, Marty, I already have Pizza Hut as a pizza shop really far out of the way on the map. Otherwise, I... <laughs> pizza Hut is... <laughs> I mean, we could always rename the pizza place, but... Okay, no, I'm excited for the hedge maze. The hedge maze, we definitely... Oh, we can make it the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Or the Ch <laughs> or the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. <laughs> Where it just wraps around itself like three times. Okay, cool. We gotta put it near here, then. I have not had Popeyes yet. That's a Man, you guys are full of good ideas. <gasps> My guests are gonna get lost in here so badly. Guests are incredibly dumb when it comes to solving mazes. Yeah, I have a feeling the guests are absolutely going to get lost in the Chick-fil-A parking lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so dumb. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we go. The entrance we want to make over here. Entrance there, and the exit will be right there. There we go! <laughs> the park is so cute. Well, thank you. It... Marty, I do have Taco Bell. It's a bathroom. <laughs> and it will stay that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, first off... Oh, yeah! 16 people in the maze. Absolutely. Oh, uh, oh, can we make it not hedges? Brick walls? That's more like a Chick-fil-A parking lot. <laughs> Here's the thing. They could solve the maze really quickly. If they just go straight at the beginning, it leads right to the exit. Okay, we just got a spinning wild mouse coaster. Yes! Okay, we can make another coaster. Oh, yes, we can send them through the meat mountain. Yes. Oh, Sonic Drive-In. Yeah, that's a good one. You guys are filled. You guys are filled with good ideas today. 
Whoa, 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 we're gonna go under the mountain? Oh, that's a big boy drop. Almost literally. Okay. <laughs> Arby's gets a way more epic coaster than it deserves. Well, before we do anything else, we gotta test this. Alright, the meat mountain <laughs> is ready. Whee! <laughs> Those are some tight turns. That's okay. Whoa! Oh! Oh, we don't even need that to be a chain lift. What are the test? Oh, no test results. Who wants to go on before it's been tested properly? The Arby's Meat Mountain. <laughs> Oh, yes. I can't think of a single better ride to have than this. There we go. Alright, we, do we have the test results back yet? Ooh! Oh, hang on. That's a lot of lateral Gs. <laughs> Actually, maybe... Oh, wait. Whoa! I did not... <laughs> Never mind. The Arby's Meat Mountain maybe needs some... Uh... <laughs> You know, maybe it actually needs a little bit of a, a revamp. Where are those lateral Gs happening? Okay, they're happening towards the end. The Arby's Meat Mountain is no joke. No, it's not. It's not a. It's not a joke. Okay, so it's those. It's those turns down when you're underground. All right, all right, we can fix that. The Arby's Meat Mountain needs so much work to make it. Or actually, maybe the Arby's Meat Mountain, like much like the actual Arby's Meat Mountain, is just doomed. There we go. That'll do it. Dang, that holds its speed really well. There we go. That gets rid of the excessive lateral Gs. This would be a pretty intense ride. <laughs> In real life. But that's okay. Average speed of 15 miles an hour. High, high, high. Oh, that's great. There we go. Everyone's gonna love the Arby's Meat Mountain. Just looking at the Arby's Meat Mountain makes me sick. <laughs> Based. I mean, I like Arby's. But the Meat Mountain is an abomination. Marty, you all, people always feel sick after they eat Arby's. Because Arby's is very much not good food. <laughs> it's good mood food, but it's not good food. Arby's fries are great. I will not tolerate blasphemy of the curly fry. They are delicious. Yes, the wooden roller coaster! Oh, that's what we were going to make the meat mountain. Whoops. Okay. Are people not paying that much to have it our way? No, no, they are. They're fine with it. Wait, how did, guests, how did the guests... Oh, no. The meat mountain's been murdering people! <gasps> I forgot to put the exit! <laughs> the first several people who ate the Meat Mountain died, just like in real life. <laughs> well, there's only one thing we can do at a time like this. <laughs> we gotta advertise <laughs> for the Meat Mountain. No, we'll just advertise for the Meat Mountain and it'll be fine. It'll get the PR back. I'll also give people free pizza, and they can get a free oh free entry to the park. Yeah, that's fine. And then free rides on the Me Mountain. It's fine. Gets the PR back. Nobody really cares if like tw wow, that is a lot of guests who drowned. <laughs> that's the exact opposite of what you should be doing. <laughs> if something bad is happening, <laughs> you don't draw more attention to it. Oh wait, guys, it's raining. Excuse me, sir, would you please donate $20 to the children's charity? Mmm, look at all those umbrella sales! <laughs> oh, also... We have no debt! <laughs> no, Marty, it's like Action Park! People dying in the ride is what makes it cool. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now we can move the price down again. <laughs> we know this ride killed like 20 plus guests, but look how cool it is! <laughs> Maybe we'll include a small apology statement in there. It's fine. It's fine! See, look at that. Our guests are going up. We're getting our park rating back. That might tank our park value a little bit, though. 
Oh, our park value may be suffering for that. Yeah, see what I care. Speaking of which, guys, we just got the wooden roller coaster, but I think we'll save that for later, maybe. Car ride! Oh, yes. Car ride with pickup trucks. <laughs> Actually, okay, hang on. We really should make a five guys ride. Oh! I have a great idea for the five guys ride. Because we need another looping coaster, clearly. No, I, I got... It's going to be great. Everybody's going to love it. We're going to make a shuttle loop, but we're going to make the shuttle loop five loops. One for each guy. Now... The tricky bit is we need to make sure that we have enough speed to go through all the loops and enough speed to get back. Beautiful. Five <laughs> guys, loops, and fries. Cool. Oh, look, guys. It's another red and... That's not white. Red and white color schemed ride. Because those are the colors of Five Guys. Okay. Powered launch without passing the station, please. Yeah, see, we need maybe a little bit more speed than that. Yeah, see, that, that we might need a little bit more speed than that. <laughs> How about, like... Oh. That's, what's the fastest we can set it? 60. Uh, how about maybe... How about we do the ghost test? That's exactly why I said have it five loops. Okay, see, I'm a little worried this might be a little bit too intense, but hey, it's five guys. You're going to get your money's worth. Oh, that's pretty fast. That's, they're going for the loops pretty fast. <laughs> Marty, it's five guys, loops, and fries. <laughs> Normally just one shuttle loop is fine, but you go to five guys, you get five loops. Uh-oh, my park rating is still down the toilet, even after advertising how cool the meat mountain was for killing people. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of positive vertical cheese. <laughs> That is a lot of positive vertical Gs. But it's still... <laughs> still rideable. <laughs> hey, Inputs, welcome. Yeah, uh, we're making fast food utopia here in my park. And um, it hasn't been great. The Arby's Meat Mountain has killed a couple people. I don't know what people were expecting. But apparently they were surprised when they went on the ride and then died. Alright, here we go. Five guys, loops, and fries. We can charge three dollars for it. Also, maybe I'll lower the launching speed a bit. Maybe that'll lower the overall... Jeez. <laughs> Five guys, loops, and fries! Everybody step in! I want to go home. I'm not thirsty. I've been queuing for the Chick-fil-A parking lot for ages. What the heck?! <laughs> the, ch the, the, the line for the parking lot is looking like the parking lot itself! <laughs> Okay, hang on, no, 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 no. We're closing it. Just temporarily, folks. Bear with me. I'll let you guys finish your ride. I'm not too, totally cruel. I will let you guys finish your ride. Nobody else is getting on it. What we're gonna do? On ride photo. Oh, okay. Now, that on ride photo section is literally impossible to reach on the track. It doesn't matter. People will still pay money for the photos. Who keeps vandalizing? my trash cans, and then complaining that there are no trash cans to use. <laughs> this this is close to real life. This is exactly how it would happen. Actually, no, that's genuinely better. Kentucky Fried Chicken, no. This is gonna, this can be Carl's Jr. With the Observation Tower, people can literally ride in a bucket of fried chicken. Which I think is many people's dream. We're gonna learn from our mistakes. From now on, we make the exit first. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you can, you can literally watch the, the dueling coaster. You can watch Burger King and Wendy's duke it out as well. There are too many fast food places these days. It's just a fact of life. Legend of the McRib. Oh, people aren't paying that much for the McRib anymore. It's $5. I don't blame them. Oh, no. Okay. No. Oh. This is the perfect opportunity. We're closed. Okay. Cool. Cool. Here we go. 
So can we just increase the number of boats on here? Oh, yes. Why would you have nine boats on by default? We're, we're, let's up with the... Okay, no. 30 is excessive. 25. This is literally one of my most popular attractions, and they only have nine boats on. Why? Just gonna preemptively build a path leading over here so we can expand the park. We have 13,000, we can build a wooden coaster. Okay. Ah! Heaven, your way has crashed! Uh oh! That's... How many people died on that? Six people have died. Well, that's pretty bad. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that. I did not even build that ride. Do you want to refurbish Have It Your Way for four fouls? I think I have to. Ride is not empty yet. We'll evacuate people off of it, then. It's okay. It does not... We Park rating and guest count don't matter. Only park value does. And that doesn't actually change our park value at all. There we go. Have it your way. It, it's just like new! Let's not look into why it crashed. It was probably just a fluke. <gasps> we finally got fries! Yes. Fries. At last. Can't believe we've gone this small and in a fast food park without fries. Ooh, a Dini slide. Now, you gotta watch out for the Dini slides, people. Have it your way is in the way. Wasn't that just fitting? But let's, let's see what the test results are like, shall we? It's a small water slide, but it does its job and it doesn't crash. Low, low, and low. Nah, we can do better than that. Oh yes, we got go-karts! That's what I was researching for. Okay, we can make quick then. Excellent. Now we can check all this other stuff as well. Okay, no, we gotta, we gotta up the water slide's intensity a wee bit, I think. There we go. This is, this is gonna bump up the excitement rating, I think. How about Sonic's... Instead of Sonic's driving, <laughs> Sonic's sliding. That's a really dumb pun, but whatever. I'm noticing that every fast food place uses red, yellow, and white as their colors. While people get excited about that, we gotta build the go-karts. We gots to. And the go-karts, honestly, should just be something pretty quick. I'm gonna have to, like build over the log flume. Or under it, actually. Ooh, actually, yes! Now, unfortunately, I think ugh, the make coaster actually might make this a little bit annoying! <sighs> Ronald, you and your stupid coaster. Okay, no, hang on. No, this, this will get- this is gonna work. This is... Okay. That is a terrible path design, but... <laughs> It's what we had to work with. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that is such cursed path layout. I don't want the queue line to be super long. And uh, we're going to have two laps, not three. Because we don't want the go-karts to have a really long queue line. Because people will wait for the go-karts. And they will hate themselves for waiting for the go-karts. Yes, we still need culvers, for sure. I have a wooden coaster I need to make. That could be... I think that has to be Raising Cane's. Been waiting in line for the Chick-fil-A parking lot for eight. I really should have made that queue line shorter. Can I have more than this... Can I have more than 16 guests in? Oh, I can! There we go! <laughs> oh, oh wait, hang on. Guys, I have a good I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Okay. Oh, no! The McCoaster is in the way! Okay. Oh, we have another bathroom? That we haven't named yet? Okay, this will be Subway. Okay, we can have that as Subway. But, we're also gonna have a pizza shop. We don't have a sandwich shop, folks. You gotta, you gotta bear with me, alright? We need food stands over here. Subway's not even healthy. But then this, this is gonna be the good Subway. <laughs> Because I feel like every town has two subways. One which is Subway, and the other which is the good Subway. Are people still not paying for Sonic? Dollar fifty. I put so much money into this. Spent so much time building it around Have It Your Way. Okay. We're going to need to build the wooden coaster then. I hate riding wooden coasters in real life, but wooden coasters are one of my favorite rides to 
build in Roller Coaster Tycoon. They look so nice. Now we just gotta wait for the test results, and this is gonna be Raising Cane's. Let's just color it like the coleslaw. <laughs> well, that doesn't look very appetizing, but <laughs> we're doing it anyways. High, very high, and medium! Well, that's just great. Okay, so I am very immature. This can be... Poop eyes. Hey, hey, people like Raising Cane's! Cool. Oh, it's too intense for you. Well, okay. If it's too intense for you, we've got a great ride next door called Sonic's. <laughs> Q line and the exit. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, this is going to be it. It's a bumper car. It's all about knocking your opponent around. So it's the perfect to-do fight for the Popeye's... Or, okay, no. It has to just be the Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's the people who fought for the Popeye's chicken sandwich. There's like, it's supposed to be like the fist fight that happened. <laughs> when it was like, we don't have enough. I also can't confirm or deny if the Popeye's chicken sandwich is like, actually good. The Arby's Meat Mountain is broken unacceptable. Oh my gosh. The Arby's Meat Mountain, it's still $4 and people are still begging to go on it. ADX! Oh, the Waffle House Fight Club! You're so right. We need Waffle House in some representation here. <laughs> but specifically Waffle House after 2 a.m. Oh, Marty. You know we gotta make raisin toast at Waffle House. Oh my gosh! We can make a pickup truck car ride and have it go through a Waffle House. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. We're gonna have a pickup truck ride where you ride to the Waffle House. <laughs> this is the <laughs> wonkiest ride ever. Oh man, I should have made one of the custom songs Raisin Toast at Waffle House. For those of you who are confused by what I'm saying, Waffle House has a jukebox filled with songs about Waffle House. Not joking. You can literally hear, like, the Waffle House greatest hits. One of them is Raisin Toast at Waffle House. And it's literally a song about how legendary Waffle House is for having toast that has raisins in it. It's amazing. It is, it's also way catchier than it has any right to be. Like, the song is literally just like, I can't believe Waffle House has raisin toast. <laughs> can you request the song of Artie Bug? Sorry, I've turned off the music requests for... Non uh, randomizer streams. Okay. We'll try to make this exit work here. But I think we're going to run out of room. Because I think the Mick Coaster is going to be in the way, as usual. Oh, yes! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> that is a convoluted exit. And so, no entry there. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is way too long of a queue line for a car ride, but it is Waffle House, so... It's not sports cars, pickup trucks. It has to be pickup trucks. <laughs> it does not work otherwise. That is a lot of pickup trucks going to the Waffle House. Oh, we also have to build the Waffle House. There's a tree growing in the Waffle House. That's not a, that's not allowed. <laughs> just made, I just realized I made Waffle House look like a barn. That's okay. There we go. We have a building that you go through. That's the Waffle House. And just to make sure people know it's Waffle House. Oh, look! It even says... Oh, Waffle House at. No, 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 no. It's Waffle House. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so dumb. I love it. Oh, no, no, no. You gotta get... Let's make the, the pickup trucks like a dingy brown. Oh, that's too many pickup trucks. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, me hey, it's, it's medium excitement. <laughs> Waffle House Bar. <laughs> I was planning on changing the color later, but actually I think I like this better. <laughs> Why is there like 20 pickup trucks on the track at once? It's actually like 30 <laughs> pickup trucks at once. Oh, it's glorious, though. Uh, oh, we got rocket cars! I mean, rocket cars are pretty cool. <laughs> this is 
exactly how excited people are when they go to Waffle House. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> no more than medium excited. <laughs> so how excited are you to go to Waffle House? Uh, I'm like medium. <laughs> Nobody's like super excited to go to Waffle House. You go there because it's convenient. <laughs> and it's the only place that's open at like 3 a.m. Dude! Raising Cane's has such a good throughput. There's like never a line for it because people are just going on. <laughs> Waffle House is the pit. Waffle House is Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is not fast food, people. Otherwise, I would make a Cracker Barrel. Maybe in the future we'll have to do a sequel to this where it's sit down chains. That is not a bad idea, R.S. Breakfast cereal roller. You know what? If it's like a small park, I absolutely would do that. Uh, is there a way I can sort? Oh, yeah. So, rides. I sort by popularity. My most popular ride. Is Sonic sliding? <laughs> that cannot be right. <laughs> Everyone hated it. Then Jack the Box, then the Meat Mountain. It's been racing. What's the least popular ride? Waffle House. Okay, well, it hasn't really had a chance yet. Oh, it will be Carl's Jr. Oh, nobody's going on Waterburger. <laughs> the terrible McDonald's M. <laughs> okay, I really. Okay, no, no, no. I really need to make just the golden arches. Okay, this still looks bad. But it look, at least it looks... So, no, that still looks very bad, but... Okay, hang on. Actually, maybe we can... Yeah, that still looks dumb, but at least it looks somewhat better. There you go. Now you walk through the golden arches when you enter the park. Which, because it is the McDonald's Playland, I think is fitting. Ward for the park at the best... Yeah. I need to get the park with the best toilets. That is an award you can get. It's great. Oh no! Why is no one going to Waffle House at 3 a.m. anymore? They're not paying that much for Waffle House at 3 a.m. They're like, excuse me, I want the triple order hash browns for 30 cents. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, I hate it, guys. While we're on the scenery subject. It's like a little waffle near the house. Ooh, oh, oh, hang on. If there's an option. Uh, this is probably the best we're gonna get. Those are the raisins. raisins Quick has broken toast. down. And That's fine. Alright, it's time to refurbish the Chick-fil-A, I think. Nobody's going on it. Just pizza! It's a bathroom. You could have made it a pizza stand. No, it's a bathroom. <laughs> this can be Jollibee. I don't know what kind of a restaurant Java Bee is, so I'll give it the information kiosk. I oh I haven't I don't have Hungry Howie's yet. How do I not have the gourmet pizza yet? When I was younger, we had this friend at church who was convinced Hungry Howie's was gourmet pizza. It's not. I mean, it's good. I like the flavored crusts, but <laughs> oh, we got the balloon stand. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. We gotta put the balloon stand right outside all of our most popular rides, so people will buy them. Ooh, we could have Bagger Dave's. I know that's a burger place, but we don't have burger shops yet. Four across inverted roller coaster trains. Cool. I wish you could go more than maximum funding. Uh-oh. Raising canes, people might not be... Nope, nope, they're still willing to pay for it. There we go. Bagger Dave's is over there. We should have one. Oh, yes. Park one right there. We get the inverted roller coaster. All right. We can have red balloons. Uh, let's see. All these balloons... <laughs> oh, yeah! We don't have, um... What do you call it? in and out in and out burgers. <laughs> it's a balloon stand. That's only on the west coast, though, so... The Meat Mountain is broken down. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy. It happens, though. Okay, we should probably get another mechanic. Oh, okay, so we have the inverted roller... Oh, just... Okay, inverted roller coaster is definitely going to be Culver's. It's going to be a huge pain in the butt to make. This is going to be a huge pain in the butt to make. Inverted coasters are naturally pretty tricky to make. Culver's is off to a good start. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. That actually turned out pretty alright. Now we'll see what the actual test results are like, though. 
Here we go, Culvers. Don't let me down now. Be okay, that is good. Okay, it's gonna make people barf a little bit, but I can live with that. We can charge, I think, $4 for that. Alright, here we go! <laughs> it's just Culvers. That's all you need, Culvers. And guys, Culvers is actually a different color scheme. It's blue and white! Yes! Oh, I'm excited. I gotta represent the Culvers. I gots to. What are people thinking about this ride? Just looking at Culvers makes me feel sick! Well, you clearly haven't had their onion rings! <laughs> They're amazing! Oh, Culvers, it's good to have you back. Alright, what are people thinking about in terms of the rides? I'm running out of cash. I want to get off Long John Silver's. It's not my fault it's a five-minute ride. Oh my gosh! Everyone wants to go to Waffle House at 3 a.m. <laughs> Whoa! What happened here? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Stupid McCoaster! Fine, I'll make these little alligator hedgies. They were supposed to be deer running across the road as you're trying to go home, but... Oh, this works too. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> People have to wait so long to get. It's like a small world at Disney. You gotta wait like five minutes to get back. I also gotta think of a name to enter in when I complete the scenario. <laughs> but Big John's Steak and Onion is not a fast food joint. <laughs> Big John's Steak and Onion is like a very Michigan local place, and it has the worst advertise. Like all of the advertisements are Big John's Steak and Onion. It's like this giant sandwich, and it's like that looks disgusting. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, we have two different rocket. We have the classic mini roller coaster with rocket cars, and we also have the mini roller coaster with rocket cars. How are those different? Oh, we got burgers. Yay. And they're always like, the Big John is taking onions. They're also always in these really out of the way places. Where it's like, they're always like on top of a mountain or something. Okay. This could be the Big Mac. Not the Big Macs, the Big Mac. Actually, I guess if you don't have Wendy's in your country, then you probably have not heard of the Baconator. The tidiest park in the country, even though everyone is criticizing how disgusting it was a little bit ago. Okay, guys, we're approaching it. October is the last month in the year in-game, so we don't have a whole lot of time left. Oh my gosh, we've we've more than doubled the amount of stuff that we needed to build. Our, the Meat Mountain is the most popular! <laughs> <laughs> and the McRib, Sonic, Raising Canes, Vaughn John Silvers, Culver's. Culver's hasn't even been open for that one. Least popular is the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich! Oh, probably because it's way too expensive right now. Oh, yeah, it's way too expensive. You know, part of me is really happy. It was really happy to see the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. It was the least popular. <laughs> oh, chick fil -A on a Sunday. Yeah, well, it happens. Okay, but instead of popularity, what if we sort by profit? Jack in the Box is the most profitable? <laughs> Guest's favorite. Long John Silver's and Kentucky Fried Chicken. I... Disgusting. Is there, like, a fictional fast food place that's funny? Because if so, I can use that as, like, the completed by. <laughs> this is a scary face. Uh, oh, this could be the Frosty. How did I not make the Frosty? In the rain, people basically pay $45 to enter the park, and they usually only have like $50 to $60. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Capitalism. New ride, the Souvenirs doll! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, Souvenirs. Oh, yeah. Putting all these, again, outside our most popular attractions. Colonel Sanders is the guy from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, you're talking Beauregard Boulet <laughs> from Arthur. <laughs> That's definitely an option. I'm Beauregard Boulet. <laughs> Beauregard Boulet. I will have to know how to spell that. Grimace has joined the queue line for the Waffle House at 3 a.m. <laughs> of course he has. I have to figure out how to spell the name Beauregard Boulet. <laughs> and for this, I'm going to rely on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't say his name. Darn it! <laughs> Gonna have to go based off of my best guess then. Alright, folks. 20,000, almost 2,000 guests. 
My park value dipped! It was at free, free, free. Why is it dipped now? Alright, final day. And here we go. <laughs> yeah, McDonald's Playland! We got a company value of $328,785. Yes! Okay, this is completed by... Okay, so Beauregard. I think that's how you... Does anybody have any idea how to spell Beauregard Boule? <laughs> I don't even know how to type this in. <laughs> I'm gonna look up a script for the episode and see if they mention his name. Oh! Oh! Okay, I, I got his name wrong! <laughs> okay, it's... Okay. It's... Beauregard. I think that's how you spell it. Poole. Okay, I just double checking that. Okay, no, that's apparently how you spell his name. Borgard Poule. <laughs> that makes way more sense <laughs> for a chicken restaurant. Yeah! <laughs> Fast food McDonald's Playland is done. Wow. That was a good one. I also want to say shout outs to my siblings who I ask, like, I need a theme for this park. What should it be? And they're like, Food Land. I'm like, Yes, Fast Food Land. Yes. <laughs> so, this was a very successful park. We'll add it to the bunch. Wonderful. So, that's gonna be it for Roller Coaster Tycoon for today. That was definitely a lot of fun. We we, made, we had some crazy rides there. Definitely a very good park. And next time we play this, we will be going to Evergreen Gardens. Which is gonna be a longer one. It's four years and should be pretty easy, but it's a big park with a lot of scenery. And I already have a plan for what theme that will be. But we will not be streaming that right away. That is gonna be another one we wait for one of these in between stream series things. So thanks for watching, everybody. Monday, we will be continuing with Shovel Knight uh, King of Cards. And then as for next weekend. I might start a new stream series. I think my next stream series is going to be Sonic Heroes, possibly. Otherwise, it might be a randomizer. It's all depends on what I'm in the mood for. So, thank you all for joining in. This is tons of fun. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless everyone.